Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I'm going to show you guys how to change colors on the Centro knitting machine. Now this technique is super easy so this tutorial is going to be super quick. <laughs> so what you want to do is say you're cranking out your project. Here I'm making one of my double knit brimmed beanies and I am at a point where my needle, my indicator needle is in the up position and my last needle from the previous row has caught the yarn. So I'm going to actually snip my yarn. So I'm going to come down here. You want to give it a decent length so you have enough uh, yarn to tie it. I leave mine a little extra long because I have long nails and tying things with long nails is a difficult life. So what you want to do is once you snip your yarn you're going to leave it to the left of the needle from the previous row and you are going to leave you're going to connect your new yarn by leaving a decent length tail to the right of your indicator needle and you don't need to do a slip knot here you just lay it over and you make sure that your threader catches your yarn as well you can put it back in the tensioner and you're going to crank slow for that first stitch just to make sure that it catches that all your stitches are catching the yarn. Like, see, that one just tried to drop. But not this time. Not this time. All right. So my last needle has caught my yellow strand, and my first needle is catching my white strand. So that is what I want, and I just go ahead and crank a little bit. And then once you get the first several stitches done, you can just start cranking as normal. And like I said, these two strands right here, once you get like a row or two down, you can just lightly tie them or you can knot them at whatever point. I'm going to knot them and sew them in when I get done with my project, but just to like not have that gap there, I loosely tied mine right there. But I would have another example of that down here as well. And this gives you a pretty much seamless color change on the other side. You can't really tell down in there. I hope today's tutorial was helpful. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome weekly content like this. I post knitting tutorials every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. CST. I'm not sure when I'm bringing back regular knitting, guys. Um, I will look into that <laughs> but I do have a bunch of other social media if you don't know already I started up a new Instagram and at the date of this recording I am already almost at a hundred followers over there so if you're on Instagram go ahead over there check me out give me a follow so you don't miss out on my works in progress and also product releases from my Teespring store as well as Etsy whenever I start releasing new patterns and until next time guys happy making If any of you were curious as to how that project turned out, this is it. As you can see, you can't actually tell where you changed color at any point in the project. So there's that. I just wanted to show that to you guys. And like I said, I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you guys. And until next time, happy making.